Good morning. My name is Luis Metzger from Peru. I'm going to talk about temporary variability of rain in Pedregal Gorge due to the effects of climate change, Lima, Peru. The content of my presentation is Objectives Introduction Study area Statistical analysis Results Discussion and conclusions. The climate is an important factor in the sustainable and economic development of a country. For that reason, many countries are now including climate for future planning purposes. 1. Objectives The objective of this study is to analyze the information of precipitation in Pedregal Gorge between the years 1980 and 2017 and to determine its behavior and temporal variability. 2. Introduction The fifth assessment report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, clearly concludes that the Earth's climate is warming. This conclusion is based on changes observed around the world, such as increase in the Earth's surface temperature. Sea level rise and precipitation trends. A work made by Mendes in 2007 find special patterns of precipitation trends for Mexico. Garcia in 2016 identified monthly precipitation trends in the Rio Grande Basin, Colombia. Cala Orano in 2017 found temporal trend in annual precipitation in the Pastaza Basin, Ecuador. Precipitation in Peru starts in the month of December and generally reaches its highest values between February and March. These precipitations generate runoff and cause the activation of streams originating the increase in the flow of the Rimac River. The area where vehicles occur in the Rimac River Basin is very well identified. They occur from the confluence of Santa Eulalia and San Mateo Rivers through the Chaclacayo and Ate districts to the mouth of Huaycoloro River. 3. A study area The study zone is the Pedregal Gorge, which has an area of approximately 10.3 square kilometers in the district of Lurigancho, Chosica. The coordinates of the precipitation stations used in this study are shown below. Chosica and Santulela are located in the middle basin, while Matucana and Carampoma are located in the upper basin. Pedregal Gorge has a dry climate. The maximum rainfall values according to Chosik and Central Alley stations occur between January and March, with an average value of 50 mm per month. 4. Statistical Analysis Two types of statistical tests have been used to determine if there are trends in the precipitation time series. Mankendall test, which is a non-parametric test, and student's t-test, which is a parametric test. The Chosica and Santiolalia stations have been evaluated for the middle basin of the Rimac, while Matucana and Carampoma stations have been evaluated for the upper basin. For the calculation of a statistical trend test with significance levels of 1%, 5%, and 10%, trend software was used. For significance level greater than 10%, Excel stat statistical software for Excel was used. 5. Results The Chosica station began recording in 1989. For this reason, it had to be completed between 1980 and 1988 with data from the Santa Olalla station. It was found at good correlation between these two stations. In 1998, the Chosica and Santolalia stations registered rain above normal. This was caused by El Niño. But in 2017, Chosica, Santolalia, and Carampoma stations 
register highest values of rain for the study period. This event is attributed to the coastal El Niño. Table 1 shows a summary of a statistical tests with trend for 1%, 5%, and 10% significance levels. Table 2 shows that 38 mean annual precipitation values, 1980 to 2017, were used in Mankendall's test, with a significance level alpha of 13%. The calculated p-value is less than the significance level of 13%. Therefore, the null hypothesis should be rejected, and the alternative hypothesis should be accepted. Then the Chosica station does show an increase in the precipitation trend for a significance level of 13%. Table 3 shows a relationship be between altitude of the station and the level of significance. In the upper left, only one station showed trends for 1% significance level. In the upper right, three stations show trends for 10% significance levels. And in the lower part, the four stations show trends for 13% of significance level. 6. Discussion the trend analysis using Mankendall's test indicates that for a significance level of 1%, the current POMA station already indicates an increase in the trend of mean annual precipitation. For a significance level of 10%, Matucana and Santiolalia stations show increasing trends in precipitation. Because trend software has only 1%, 5%, and 10% significance levels, the XL stat software was used for Chosica station it was found that there is an increase in the tendency of precipitation for a significance level of 13%. There is a strong relationship between the altitude of the precipitation station and the significance level alpha. This can be understood in the following way. First, we must say that no hypothesis test is 100% true, since the test is based on probabilities. Therefore, we can say that for the Chosica station, there is a 13% probability that the Mankendall test is not correct, but there is an 87% probability that it is correct. Similarly, for the Matucana and Santolale stations, we can say that there is a 10% probability that the Mankendall test is not correct, but there is a 90% probability that it is correct. 7. Conclusions According to McKendall and students' teeth statistical test, the current POMA stations is the one that shows significant changes in precipitation increase for a 1% significance level. That is, there is a 99% probability that the precipitation has increased in the 1980 to 2017 period. In conclusion, and after analyzing the annual time series, we can say that there is a positive or increasing trend in precipitation in the four stations evaluated, Carampoma, Matucana, Santeulalia, and Chosica, for the period considered from 1980 to 2017. Terima kasih.